Hey guys, we're back with a good old you versus them for the 31st through the 8th. And um, I'm using two different decks for you guys. This is a Spellcaster Tarot. And I forget which one this is because I'm awful, awful, awful about putting my boxes in a different location. I have like several decks. So I forget the name of this one. But this is my favorite, the Spellcaster Tarot. And this is my second favorite right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com and we'll get a cracking from there. All right, guys, this reading's for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries. Let's see. How did you guys view your connection with this person when you were with them? How did you view the connection? Let's see. How did Aries view this connection? Oh, Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. You guys were back and forth about this connection. I think that it worried the hell out of you. It made you paranoid. Um, maybe this person was always playing mind games. But it, it wasn't an easy connection for you. It kept you in your head as an Aries individual. And that is not a good feeling. So, mm, not good. Let's see, how did this person view the connection with Aries? How did this person view the connection with Aries? How did they view the connection with Aries? How did this person view the connection with Aries? I'm going to jump a few cards actually. Look at that, Eight of Swords. So you guys were kind of on the same page. I feel like both of you kept each other in your heads. I feel a strong Gemini energy here. Um, this person is somebody that maybe you guys shared a history with before. Like this last connection with them or relationship with them. And there were several things that bothered them that happened in the past or this could have been somebody that always brought up shit from the past like never let you live it down even when you think you've gotten over something they're always throwing shit up in your face so both of you guys remain in your head a lot and you cannot stay in your head when you're trying to connect on a loving level you know so not an easy connection for them either i, I feel like this person did things to you um, was mentally manipulative towards you because of, of slights that they felt like you did towards them in the past here. What's currently happening for my Aries? What's currently going on for Aries? What's currently going on for Aries? Ha! Ten of Cups. Totally different energy now. It's like you guys are living your best freaking life. Piscean energy here. Um, some of you could be in relationships, but this is about being like totally fulfilled, happy. Total shift from when you were in this connection with this person. Major shift there. What's currently going on with this other person, with them? What's currently going on with them? going on with them four of wands seems like you guys are kind of on the same accord this person could possibly be in a relationship or has gotten married even um but this is all about being happy and stable maybe this person is moving homes buying a home even but um nevertheless you guys are on the same accord but this is a card of aries though it is so I feel like you guys are definitely on their mind. I feel like this person thinks about the relationship that you guys um, shared. And I think they miss that. I think they miss that because the Eight of Swords is looking right at the Four of Wands. And it's like there were happy times. Reflecting on the past within your relationship. The good times within the relationship. The happy times here. I see the Eight of Swords staring right at the Four of Wands here. And that is you guys, I feel. Hmm. What's influencing the situation with Aries? What's influencing the situation with Aries? 
Look at that. The Four of Wands. Can't make this shit up. Hmm. I feel like this person is regretful about the relationship and maybe how it ended with you guys. Um, you have the Four of Wands and they have the Four of Wands. What's influencing your situation is your home is happy now. You don't have to worry about all this mental manipulation coming from this person, um, all this ambiguity, this non-transparency, and you've got your shit together, basically, is what's going on, what's influencing you right now, okay? There's none of this conflict that is constantly going on. Um, you guys just got your shit together. And I feel like this person is like having regrets. I feel like they are constantly thinking about the relationship with you guys. What's influencing the other person right now? What's influencing the other person right now? Look at this. The Queen of Wands. This is you guys. You're influencing them. You made an impact on them. It's the thing. And you, you're gone on. Like you're moving forward. That's what got them thinking about you guys. You're no longer stuck. They no longer have a hold over you. And you guys are moving forward. And you're looking damn good while you're doing it. I feel like this person is like keeping an eye out on your social media. Um, just like observing your actions. Maybe asking people about you even. But... They're definitely thinking about how they handled this situation with you, how they were with you. I feel a strong Gemini energy for a lot of you guys here. What's coming in for my Aries? What's coming in for my Aries? Seven of Wands. You're going to have to defend your position. You're going to have, have to protect your happiness. Because I feel like this person, they're not done with you. Is the thing. This is Leo energy. They're not done with you. So you're going to have to, if you haven't already established your boundaries, which I feel like you have, you're going to have to. Because this person is coming back to try to infiltrate and persuade you, I feel, into getting back into something with them. Now, the thing is, I'm not telling you not to, but just, just use your discretion, okay? Use your discretion when dealing with this person because I, I just get that in the past it, it wasn't a good thing with this individual. What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? Oh shoot. Okay. What's coming in for this other person? Seven of Swords. Huh. Yeah. See. Be careful. Be very, very careful because I feel like this person's coming in to try to win you back. But I feel like whatever they did before, and I feel like it was some awful shit that they did before. Why is this cricket like that? <laughs> I feel like it was some awful shit that they did before. Um, I feel like they're coming back to see if they can win you over, but I feel like they'll do it again. They'll do it again. If they lied to you, if they manipulated you, if they cheated on you, I feel like this person will do it again. Because I feel like they're very selfish and um, manipulative. Okay? Aquarius energy here. Yeah. Be careful. And look, at the bottom of their deck. They're bringing conflict. Five of Wands energy. They're bringing conflict your way, so be careful with that. Okay? Let's see. What is the outcome for my Aries? That one wanted to jump, so I'm going to take it. You're going to have to make a decision about them. And you're going to have to stand your ground on it. In order to keep this, this Four of Wands, your happiness, your stability. And uh, not let anybody, like, tear that shit down for you. Because I feel like you guys have got it going on. There's a Scorpio energy here now with judgment. You're going to have to make a final decision about them. What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? Four of Cups. 
Yeah, them being miserable because you can't try to play games with people and manipulate people to make yourself feel better. I feel like this person's ego is very fragile. But in the end, they are the ones that end up being hurt. They are the ones because they are basically um, self-sabotaging here with you guys, okay? So, cancer energy there. That's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.